Many people regard the gift of music as the best present to receive. And when you're friends with Miley Cyrus, sometimes that gift comes in the form of the most unforgettable wedding present ever. Back in 2011, the former coach on The Voice performed a breathtakingly intense version of her 2009 hit, When I Look at You, during a first dance at a close friend's wedding. While the song is special enough on its own, hearing Cyrus sing it live as a newlywed couple dances together for the first time is something you don't see every day. The video speaks for itself. Talk about experiencing one of the most incredibly intimate moments ever, especially for the happy couple. But the circumstances gloss over what many viewers miss. Cyrus' voice is utter perfection as she sings one of the romantic psalms in her extensive musical catalog. Maybe it's because she performed during a wedding, but Cyrus brought it. Her vocals shine as, when I look at you, builds and builds, hitting a crescendo that Cyrus nails effortlessly. This stripped-down performance is everything fans love about the star. Sure, the 31-year-old sharing the stage with someone like Billy Idol is something instantly iconic, but Cyrus is arguably at her best when her voice can take center stage. It's safe to say that Cyrus gave the couple, and everyone in attendance, a wedding gift they'll never forget. Originally released in 2009 as the final single off Cyrus' first EP, The Time of Our Lives, and subsequently featured in the soundtrack for her 2010 film The Last Song. When I Look at You is considered one of Cyrus' strongest ballads. Although it didn't live up to the stratospheric success of Party in the USA, it enjoyed substantial commercial success in its own right, peaking at number 16 on the Billboard Hot 100. Although critics overall gave When I Look at You mixed reviews, all music commended Cyrus on the song. When she lets her, Ballad singing diva come to the fore. Cyrus really shines, the outlet wrote. The lyrics, which tell a straightforward story of a girl finding the love of her life, are perfectly suited for a first dance at a wedding. So it's no surprise that Cyrus performed, When I Look at You, as a gift for some of her closest friends on their special day. Miley Cyrus has been known to surprise and captivate her audience, pushing the boundaries of her artistry in ways that always leave fans wanting more. Whether she's swinging on a wrecking ball in a dramatic portrayal of heartbreak or bringing the house down with her raspy rendition of classic rock hits, Miley has a knack for drawing people into her emotional world. However, her latest rendition of an intimate romantic ballad may have pushed her storytelling abilities further than ever before, transforming an already poignant love song into her most intense yet. The song in question is Endless Summer Vacation, Backyard Sessions a haunting ballad that was originally featured on her critically acclaimed album, Endless Summer Vacation. The original version was soft, melancholic, and lyrically tender, providing a glimpse into the fragility of love through Cyrus' unique lens. But her recent acoustic version, released as part of her backyard sessions, is nothing short of breathtaking, delivering raw emotion, vulnerability, and an undeniable intensity that elevates the song to an entirely new level. Miley's ability to channel her emotions has always been one of her strongest attributes, but in this version of the ballad, vulnerability becomes the very essence of the song. Stripped down to just her voice and acoustic guitar, there's nowhere for Miley to hide. Every breath, every slight crack in her voice, feels intentional, as if she's pouring out her heart in real time. The authenticity of her performance makes you feel as if you're peeking into a deeply personal moment one that wasn't necessarily meant to be shared with the world. From the very first note, there's a noticeable shift in the song's energy. While the original was a studio-polished, multi-layered production, this version feels like a whispered confession made under a summer night sky. Miley's voice, raw and unfiltered, feels more present than ever, and the simplicity of the arrangement draws attention to the pain and longing woven into the lyrics. There's an undeniable intimacy that wasn't as prominent before as if Miley herself is living the emotions she's singing about. One of the reasons this version resonates so deeply is that it feels like Miley has reached a new depth of emotional expression. As someone who has gone through very public relationships, breakups, and personal growth, there's a sense that Miley is revisiting these themes with a matured understanding. This rendition of the ballad feels like a retrospective on love, one that acknowledges both its beauty and its capacity to wound. In the chorus, when Miley sings about love's dual nature of comfort and pain, her voice swells with emotion. Her phrasing becomes more deliberate, 
almost as though she's searching for the right way to communicate feelings too vast for words. This contrast between the beauty of love and its inherent heartbreak is what makes the song so powerful. It's not just about the lyrics. It's about how Miley's delivery embodies this push and pull. She's not just singing about love. She's making you feel it in all its complexity. It's impossible to discuss Miley's music without acknowledging the personal narrative often woven into her lyrics. Over the years, Miley has shared much of her life with the public, from her tumultuous relationship with actor Liam Hemsworth to her journey of self-discovery and independence. This song, particularly in its acoustic form, feels like the culmination of that journey. There's an undeniable sense of reflection, as though Miley is looking back on the highs and lows of her past relationships and offering a more nuanced understanding of what love really means to her. She no longer romanticizes love in the same way she did in her early career. Instead, she seems to recognize its fragility, its imperfections, and its ability to change a person. This version of the ballad feels like a love letter, not to a person, but to the very experience of love itself. It's as if Miley is saying, this is what love has taught me. And the lesson is not a simple one. Love, as she presents it here, is both beautiful and brutal, healing and devastating. It's everything at once, and it's this complexity that makes the song feel so intense. There's something to be said about the power of simplicity in music, and Miley's acoustic version of the song is a perfect example of this. By stripping away the production and focusing on just the essentials, her voice and a guitar, Miley allows the emotional core of the song to shine through. There are no distractions, no flashy production tricks to mask the emotion. Instead, it's just Miley, her guitar, and the weight of the lyrics. This minimalism creates a sense of intimacy that makes the song feel more personal, more relatable. It's as if Miley is inviting listeners into her inner world, offering a glimpse of her heart that she's rarely shown before. This decision to simplify the arrangement also amplifies the intensity of the song. Without the layers of production, there's nothing to soften the emotional impact. The pain, the longing, the vulnerability, it's all laid bare for the listener to experience. And in doing so, Miley has created a version of the song that feels more intense, more raw, and more real than ever before. Of course, none of this would work without Miley's voice. Over the years, she has proven herself to be one of the most versatile vocalists of her generation, seamlessly transitioning between pop, rock, country, and everything in between. But in this version of the ballad, her voice is truly the star of the show. There's a raspiness to her voice that conveys a sense of weariness, as if she's lived through the love and heartbreak she's singing about. At the same time, there's a softness, a tenderness, that makes the more vulnerable moments of the song feel even more poignant. Miley's vocal control is impeccable, allowing her to navigate the emotional highs and lows of the song with ease. It's not just about hitting the right notes. It's about how she uses her voice to convey the depth of emotion in the lyrics. Whether she's belting out the chorus with passion or softly whispering the more introspective verses, Miley's voice is filled with nuance and emotion. And it's this emotional complexity that makes the song feel so intense. This version of the ballad is more than just a love song. It's a testament to Miley's growth as an artist and as a person. Over the years, Miley has evolved from the teenage pop star of her Hannah Montana days into a confident, mature artist who isn't afraid to take risks and explore new emotional territory in her music. This acoustic rendition feels like a culmination of that journey. It's a song that reflects not only Miley's experiences with love, but also her growth as a person who has learned from those experiences. There's a sense of wisdom in her delivery, as though she's come to terms with the complexities of love and is ready to share that understanding with her listeners. In a way, this version of the ballad feels like a full-circle moment for Miley. It's a song that acknowledges the pain of love, but it's also a song that celebrates its beauty. It's a song that's both raw and refined, vulnerable and powerful. And in that way, it feels like the perfect representation of who Miley is as an artist today. Miley Cyrus' acoustic version of Endless Summer Vacation Backyard Sessions is more than just a reinterpretation of one of her songs. It's an emotional journey that delves deep into the complexities of love. 